Welcome to a new video. This is Hypo S 3.0 running on my Chinese Xiaomi 15 Pro and I want to show you what is really new because this list of changes here is pretty pretty long. So let's get started. This is Hypo S 3. In particular, this is version 303, and you can see the change log is really, really, really long and gets through everything very, very detailed. But in this video, I will focus on just a few things that I noticed. And first of all, the animations are butterly smooth. It was already butterly smooth with the earlier version, but with parallel animations, even like opening up this app vault, opening up the applications and the folders, it's super, super smooth and everything is running in parallel, which is super, super cool. We have those nice effects here, as you see here, super, super cool, super smooth as well. And you see already that the control center has been revamped. We don't have the blue icon to indicate that Wi-Fi is on, for example. Instead, we have a little bit of colorized symbols, but the background is definitely white if you turn something on or off. I would um, yeah, like to have more animations there for this one, because it's just a little bit of well, different there. But it's working fine so far and you see that uh, when I'm scrolling around you can see that this is a, a live kind of um, blur that we have as well, which is quite cool. So you can see, yeah, I was still scrolling there in the background. Um, <coughs> very nice also the gradual kind of um, blur there on the top. And you will also notice that this here has a bit of shiny through effect. So a little bit of frosted glass for sure. And we have here as well pinned albums and pinned covers that we can set up, which is also a very nice feature in the gallery app, which is nice and new. In terms of animations, you will see that this here, I now have headphones connected, is different from how it was before. Let's take the Xiaomi Mix Fold here, for example, and I'll show you how the uh, volume bar looked like this. So it was a bit slimmer, now it's a bit thicker, as you see here, and not as long. And yeah, raising the volume over <laughs> a certain amount will give me also this trigger warning there. And also the icon here is now white, and there's a huge difference. When we uh, have some other things to take a look at, then it would be a very nice setting that I like to have on my devices, which is the ability on the home screen to set a double tap to lock the screen, which is not available uh, on older devices. So this is something that they added, as well as some other options there, as you see here, that we have. So these are the big changes. So I can now double tap on a free spot and it's locking the screen right here. It's not doing anything. Talking about the lock screen, let's customize the look. We have different sets that uh, we have set up earlier and we have new themes that you can see here that come introduced with Hypo S3. They look pretty nice and spectacular and I like them all, to be honest. And talking about this, let's go exit out of here and go in back into setting. Under personalization, we also have now our various different styles. So when we go in here, again on the older device and go into personalization, we only have this current style, which shows lock screen and home screen. But here you can see I can choose different styles that I have um, done earlier. I can even delete them or I can create a new style and if I go this, I have now the possibility to do so here very, very easily, which is cool. The rest is almost the same, but we have a new fingerprint option, which allows us to uh, set a different animation for the fingerprint here on the 15 Pro, but this has something to do because we don't have a fingerprint here. We just have them in the power button. It could be that it was there earlier, but I just, just didn't notice. The other thing that I noticed is, let me go back maybe here, Notice this is even more the gradual blur there as well, a bit frosted glass. You can see the orange shining through there. This is also something that is new that wasn't there before. As you see here, it doesn't have this gradual blur. Where here it has this, 
for sure. So this is a little bit of frosted glass that we have here, uh, which is quite cool that they added this in. A new animation engine, new control bar, but also new status bar. So you can see that the icons here have become a lot clearer. Like the Wi-Fi bar is only like showing three bars instead of four or five that we had before. The battery icon has been changed. Yes, I don't have a SIM card inside there. And we have some other status symbols there as well, indicating that I'm connected to my Bluetooth headset right now, for example. Uh, which is quite nice and yeah those icons are nice otherwise if you are in bluetooth settings you see you still have the old kind of way of showing that it's connected to something i wish they would also change it to white instead of like blue like the old style if you go to more settings there it's also like the old blue style i think this is okay here uh, deep down in the settings Otherwise, in terms of connectivity, I did not notice much, but in terms of battery life, I noticed that this improved engine with parallel animations is really optimizing a little bit the battery life here. So I get roughly an hour and a half of more screen on time on the Xiaomi 15 Pro, which is quite tremendous, I have to say. I was not expecting this. So yes, switching to this new engine with parallel animations is really helping. Then we have, in terms of like new animations, also some updates in applications, like for example, the calendar application. And if I like pinch here, it's going to the overview of the year. I can also like do this and you can see how smooth this animation is here. Not, this is like a switch animation, but from here to here, it's a super smooth animation. And some of those animations are also translated over to other applications that help tremendously. Also like the widget uh, animation, like going out there, super smooth, super cool. App Vault is also pretty cool. I would like to have, if I'm like going in here, for some reason it's not working. Ah, let's go like this. I would like to have a better animation as well here for going into camera and going out of camera. It's like disappearing in, in nowhere there so it would be pretty cool if it would go to the icon itself nevertheless you can see some new icons here as well that they developed so this is the setting icon the file manager icon the weather icon so that really find the icons a little bit also the browser icon and the camera icon is specifically they updated as well uh, talking about the camera let's drive into this one i did not notice much of a difference here but i will show you some sample photos that i took and also a sample video not in master cinema mode like i'm using right now because then i'm not able to switch between lenses during recording but uh, yeah let's take a look at some videos now, this is a video now. recording on the xiaomi 15 pro running hypo s 3.0 i'm using the normal video mode i disabled master cinema video mode because it doesn't allow me to switch between all lenses which is a bit of a bummer for pro version the master cinema mode however gives me better picture without this over sharpening look but we have to see does it still do the over sharpening kind of major over sharpening on the main sensor here on the 15 pro let's go to the ultra wide angle just to see Ah, this is the ultra wide angle it should be a lot softer now because it's just a smaller sensor and it does not apply as heavy of sharpening as it does on the main camera sensor and we will perform a little zoom test there we just want to zoom on one side we have a 5x zoom lens timmy stabilization test of course so there we go five times ten times and we can zoom even further up to 15 times here at 4k 30 and back to 1x quite smooth but it also was already very very smooth on the earlier version so what do you think about this one? taking a look at the photos first we start off with a photo with 120 millimeter uh, shot here and uh, let me make it maybe a little bit bigger there we go and uh, we have a nice shot this is the five times zoom 5x it is not over sharp and it's not too Mm, yeah, HDR-ish as you see it's like authentic so like authentic has this Mm, some call it issue other thing like a little bit toned down hdr effect you can still read what's written on this light here so it's only like the large bulb a little bit overblown there i like the little bit of like getting out of focus area there so everything nice and readable and there is a focus fall off there is like a, something in front here that is out of focus so it's fine so far here then uh, this is a portrait shot of timmy my dog you see he was moving around all the time this is why it's a bit hard to do so but yeah it tries to eliminate 
and get like the best bokeh shot but it is struggling there so yeah it's the 15 pro i don't expect it to be as good as the newer flagships like the 15 ultra that has this more nailed this is 15 millimeters so it's using the main camera sensor here for 2x crop it's okay another 5x shot of this little shop there I'm doing a little bit of advertisement for them as well probably i can see the sign here like i like this uh, font that they are using for the sign it's like a uh, Philifans, how they call this shop. It's a little presents or gift shop boutique, they call it there as well. So yeah, sharpness, detail levels, I like it. I like also that it's working very nice with the little vignetting that you have there. And this here, 35mm, crop a bit on the main sensor as well of those two frogs that are sold in this shop. You can see, yeah, uh, sharpness and detail levels are, is a bit soft. It's, it's it's like made me misfocused because of the window that I was like uh, shooting against. And we have the ultra wide angle, 40 millimeter. I like the ultra wide angle because this one is uh, doing a quite good job, giving the mood of the shot there. It's not the sharpest for sure. It's not competing against the Vivo, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's not getting worse. Let's say it like this. Some people are also claiming, yeah, they make the cameras worse with each upgrade, especially the huge updates, so that the newer version like the 70 pro that's supposed to have a shittier ultra wide angle camera looks a little bit better yes probably we have to see when the 17 pro max lands here in the studio i can compete let it compete against the 15 pro for sure and i'm pretty sure the 15 pro will win in angle of view because it's wider otherwise i like that the shutter speed is quite fast one three hundredths of a second but this car was moving and i had like 10 times zoom on and i still can read what's there it's not the best for sure because it's the car moving there you can see it here a little bit of motion blur but still i don't know how fast it was driving if it goes according to the speed limit it should be 50 so <laughs> 50 kilometers per hour so yeah and then this uh, shot here also five times pretty detailed pretty sharp nice you can see also the various different levels of um, colors here that it nailed. I like that. It's working quite nicely. So I didn't see huge improvements there in the photography section. What do you think about the videography? I think maybe they tuned down the sharpening a little bit on the main camera sensor. I have in mind and I saw other clips, but it was in summer. There was a bit more HDR going on. It was way too over sharpened and I think they improved upon on the uh, 15 Pro now. But you be the judge. What do you think about the photos here and about the videography? So now we know that we have some improvements in terms of videography. What about some other features? We have, of course, the famous island um, now called Hyper Island here. So if I open it up like this, you see here it's appearing. It has the nice ability to swipe down to open in a little window and it can swipe up to, for it to be there again. And when I'm going into a YouTube video, for example, this is a YouTube video for my German speaking audience. You can also like translate it. Someone talking about Hyper Island 2 and my nice hidden settings there. Let's turn the volume down a little bit. I can hit on play there. If you have YouTube Premium, you can swipe up and it will appear there. Of course, there's this little floating window, but the controls are appearing here. I can click on them and I can go to the other one. I can switch between them. You see how fluid this is working. I like that a lot. I cannot swipe down to have a little window or something like this, but I can control the video here if I want to. And I can get rid of this uh, and have this one here only solely in the hyper island which is quite nice the timer is still running though as you see here so this is the new hyper island then we have some interconnectivity options as well here so we have the better interconnectivity options with xiaomi devices so if you have xiaomi devices including the car when you unlock with your tablet for example and connect to your phone with the fingerprint it will automatically unlock also your phone if you have connected the phone to the same xiaomi account and the same goes for the car if you have it connected with your phone there's also seamless unlock capabilities available there and we have even interfunctionality with ios devices like uh, my demo ios device is a bit old already doesn't get the newest version test out those new interconnectivities with iphones ipads and mac os small and short update i found the xiaomi interconnectivity app now on the apple iphone so it has already been connected to my uh, xiaomi 15 pro and if i have a file that i want to send over 
like for example a short image file i have now the possibility to hit send here and then you can see that i have my device here the iphone 15 10s and if i click on it it will download the file here i can say yes have full access and then i can share files and folders to my iphone which is quite cool and the same way i have some capabilities here like i could uh, allow it to open up wechat i say always allow and then it's opening up wechat here on this screen is basically sharing the wechat account from my um, um xiaomi 15 pro to the iphone very very cool indeed and yeah i can log in with this one uh, if i want to so this is the interconnectivity app here i cancel this and i have some other things as well like i can search for the device if i've lost it and uh, some other connectivity issues uh, issues connectivity options that i have here with this one like for example share the wi-fi so this is quite cool and uh, we have some other options there that we can, uh, can uh, search for the device for example or i can do other things like here uh, add things to the device connect to the device and then i can also uh, connect via bluetooth and then share calls that are coming in or messages that are coming in with the xiaomi and the iphone otherwise very fluid very nice better battery life improvements as well i like this hyper island i like the fluidity of the device and i like the features especially like the feature to double tap to lock the device and overall i'm pretty yeah optimistic that this will be a very solid operating system and xiaomi is doing uh, everything that they can to make this um, happening i would like them to improve still on certain things like a better way of multitasking eventually um, but this is something that uh, is on the wish list for now it's a very solid build i didn't encounter any bugs and it's running very fluid and gives me more battery life even though i'm only running it like for 24 hours now so i'm very very happy when it comes to this if you have found some other improvements things that are very worthwhile talking about write them down in the comment section this is everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye Uh, this is now recording with the Xiaomi 15 Pro's uh, selfie camera, 4K 30 frames per second. We have here and yeah, have the Xiaomi earbuds, how they're called, the Openware Stereo Pro in my ears. There will be a review coming pretty soon uh, of them as well, so stay tuned for this. I'm pretty happy with this one. I'm also happy what I saw with the Xiaomi 17 pro max that hopefully will come to me very very soon because this one will have the yeah optimized hypo s3 version but it also features some cool new camera features like for example the ability to switch from this front facing video that i'm doing to the back facing cameras all in one recording super nice idea that they finally implement this as well same as honor is doing same as vivo is doing it and samsung i think are the only ones that i know of that have this functionality huawei huawei nova series also has this uh, functionality so yeah, honor only the honor number series like Honor 400 pro Honor 200 pro the magic series so far did not implement this for some reason anyway that's it until the next time, bye.